got one that can see. You are not once saved, always saved. If it's not once saved, always saved, then it's probation. And we understand through God's word how we have present tense eternal life when we believe and trust in Jesus for this. John 5, 24. He who believes in me has present tense everlasting life and he has passed from death into life. You shall never hunger or thirst again when you drink of this water of life, the free gift of eternal life that Jesus gives. If you could lose that, that means it was never eternal. And we are told how we are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise for the day of redemption. Once sealed, always sealed. We are told how we are sanctified once and for all perfectly, Hebrews 10.10, 10. and also how we have been delivered from the kingdom of darkness and translated, transferred into the kingdom of light, Colossians chapter 1 verse 16. We are also told how we have been purchased and we are no longer our own anymore. We are God's. Since we do not own ourselves, we do not have the decision to unsave ourselves. It is a promise from God. This promise from God is the free gift of eternal life in his name. And we know that the gifts and the callings of God are irrevocable. Romans 11, 26. Now, once you are born again, you are born again. You cannot redo your physical birth. Why do you think you can redo or undo your spiritual birth. Once you get physically circumcised in this world, there's no going back. You are circumcised. Likewise, when you have the circumcision of the heart, that is done for. You are now circumcised. If Satan is able to seal his children of disobedience during the tribulation where they take the mark of the beast and they are no longer able to be saved, why do you think God is not powerful enough to seal his children and to make it where they can never lose salvation. Is Satan somehow more powerful than God to keep his children of disobedience sealed for darkness? No, of course not. Once saved, always saved is the gospel. Eternal security is the good news. Good news, the gospel is the perfect news. And that perfect news is that Jesus saves sinners once and for all when they trust and believe in him. If I could lose salvation, that's not good and perfect news because that means I must trust in myself for something. I have to continue doing something. I need to make sure something. And that's terrifying because I cannot trust myself. But praise be to God, I trust in the perfect one. I trust in him that I am in his hands and he shall lose no one. So I'm really done arguing with individuals who believe you can lose salvation. Go ahead, believe it. Carry that heavy burden, that heavy yoke, that you can lose salvation, that you believe that you can be delivered one day, you can be saved, sanctified, but the next day, nope, no more any Lord, I'm done, I'm not saved anymore. Go ahead and believe that, but understand, you are aligning with doctrines of cults, like Jehovah Witnesses, they believe you can lose salvation. Uh, Mormons, they can believe you can lose salvation. Um, Islam, they don't believe in assurance of Allah keeping their children up. You have to make sure you're doing something. So go ahead and believe in that false gospel. But I will be here defending the true good news of Jesus Christ. And that is eternal life in his name that is secured. Eternity is secured in him. And with this good news brings freedom. Not freedom to sin, freedom now to walk with the living God, having his mind and viewing sin for what it is. Destructive, devile, disgusting. I think I just made up a new word. I meant to say vile, but devile, I guess. But this is what separates the true gospel from every other false religion in the world. Because every other religion in the world requires you to do something. You need to keep your salvation. You need to earn your salvation. You need to maintain your salvation. But that is no different than every other religion of the world. What sets the true gospel apart is that it is God. It is Jesus doing it all. He picks you up. He delivers you. And now you rest in him. And it's his life through you that now lives. You can only be an effective Christian when you understand this truth to then allow his life out of you. Only way.
only way. With that, guys, believe whatever you want, all right? Yeah, I'm just doing my best to try to share the good news. Love you all so much. God bless and remember, the just shall live by faith.